Uh, main event time here, guys. And again, it's Sean Brady against Gilbert Burns. And, you know, our heartstrings are with Dorino in this one. He's plus a dollar fifty dog to Sean Brady. Y- you know, for me, and I, I let's start with Maddie, because obviously, Maddie, you got the greatest insight since you do a podcast with Gilbert. Uh, who doesn't love backing Gilbert Burns and certainly backing him as a dog like he is here? He is. I think three and three in his last six uh, fights since fighting for the title uh, back in the day against Kamaru Usman. And I, I've always looked at Gilbert as the champion that never was like right there. Tip of the spear guy, one of the best of the best, but maybe a tweener in between the two weight classes. And maybe that's why he's never got it. 170. Maddie, you know, him, you like him, you know how he trains. Where is Gilbert Burns before this uh, big time matchup against Sean Brady? I think he's in a really good headspace, like bias aside. I, I, he seems very locked in. Um, he knows where he's at in his career. He And look, it'd be one thing if we believe, if we sat here and thought like, okay, this guy's getting older and he's fading in fights. But like, I thought I was there live at the Jack Della Maddalena fight. And like, mm-hmm. you know, he, some people think it was 1-1. I think the judges had it 2-0. Like, All I think three he had came it 2-0. With, yeah, All three had, had it 2-0, 2-0 Gilbert. I had yeah. Gil. He came in with a great game plan. I think Jack Della would put away Sean Brady. So I, I don't have any issue with Gilbert losing to Jack Della. And the fact that he was winning that fight compellingly the whole fight before he just made one mistake. Uh, the, to me, I, I feel good about that. And he's not, he didn't rush back into a fight. He got healthy. He prepared. Um, I think that the Sean Brady win over Kelvin Gaslam is a little bit overrated. Dude, if you go back, I was watching last night. It, it's funny because we, when I was like in my head, when I thought about Kev, uh, Sean Brady versus Gaslam, I thought he completely dominated him and put him away, which he did end up subbing him in the third. Go back and watch that first round and some of those scrambles. I'm telling you right now, if that scramble happens against Gilbert, Gilbert's going to put Sean away. In that first round, Kelvin Gassum dumped Sean Brady off of him, and like he's right there to be ground and pound and hit. I think Gilbert can put Sean away if Sean makes these types of mistakes. I actually think this is like one of the hardest outside of Bilal, obviously. I think this is the hardest matchup stylistically for Sean Brady in the top six or seven in this in the in uh in this weight class. Because what do you do to, to Gilbert here? Sean's not really known for his his striking. He has okay, decent striking. Some decent power, but like you, you know, Hamzat couldn't hold Gilbert down, you know, and nor did he want to, right? You know, and mm-hmm. it's funny because everyone talks about you know Gilbert doesn't get subs at 170, like he was able to get them in jujitsu and at 155, but like this is sneakily a fight that like he could catch Sean if if a mistake is made, um, and Gilbert's never been subbed, you know, so. My gut tells me Gilbert burns round two KO. I think it could be a ground and pound. Um, that's my official prediction for the fight. I'm going to lock in Gilbert on the money line. He's got the five round experience. Um, and I just think that if he's stuffing the takedowns, I think people are saying like, Oh, he's only has a 50% takedown defense. I'm like, look who it was against. It was against Kamaru or not Kamaru. It was against, uh, uh, Hamzat. And, uh, who's the other one? Damian Maya. <laughs> right. So yeah. those are like the four takedowns pretty much, you know, like the last, like, five set five to seven years like those are pretty much the only takedowns he's given up um you know so again and let's not forget it doesn't he got taken down by damian maya he knocked him out later in the first round That's yeah right so exactly and i just think if he is stuffing the takedowns or even if he's just getting back to the feet i'll tell you one thing i think sean brady does land takedowns a takedown or takedowns in this fight and when gilbert gets back to the feet you're gonna see that first few seconds when they're back on the feet where sean's gonna be like oh shit uh-huh. And like Gilbert's now, like I'm able to come forward now, and I just feel like he's gonna be able to walk forward and and and, uh, and he's got to put combinations together on the feet, you know, less like big one and two shots, like more like three to five punch combinations, and overwhelm Sean Brady the way that you know Bilal was able to. Love the handicap, and again, I, I love that idea that when Brady, you know, scrambles and all of a sudden he looks up and Gilbert's right there in his face again. That does remind me of the Chamaya fight so much, and I was on the over that night for the respect that I have for Gilbert Burns. I'm I'm going with the under four and a half at basically even money here, guys. And the reason is, is to Maddie's point, I do think there's finishing potential from Gilbert's side here, and I don't know that that Sean Brady's going to have the advantage if this fight goes deeper. And I think Gilbert with the hands and or on the ground 
might be able to get that done. So basically, I've got four and a half rounds for Gilbert to figure out a way. And I, I don't know that I'm going to need all four and a half uh, to get that under. I don't see this one necessarily hitting the cards. And if Brady is better, and I know like Brady had a lot to say about people that use the term fraud check from when he lost to Ball Muhammad. And he came out and said, you know, I, I lost to the champ. So, you know, th- these people are idiots, basically, is what he was saying out there. And I think that aggression he's right, he's right Brady, about that. Yeah, he is totally right about that, right? Like, there's that was a like, terrible so, matchup, terrible matchup for him. Absolutely, you can't really take you can't take Bilal down. I don't think anyone's really taking him down. Right, exactly right, and that's why I think that we, we're going to get some finishing potential here. And like disregard uh, to me what happened with Brady in the Bilal fight. So I'm going to play that under four and a half at basically a pick and price. Uh, Kyle, I do like. Uh, Gill here. Are you with Maddie on that Gill side and think that, boy, five rounds to work at some point, he's going to show that why Gilbert Burns has always been right there at the top of the division? Yeah, and really, and Maddie talked about the last fight against Jack Della. The concern was he the cardio, and that's always the problem with both Burns brothers, right, is the cardio. Can the cardio hold up? Sean Brady has never shown good cardio. Gilbert Burns has shown great cardio and has also shown, shown terrible cardio. So where you, where's the middle line here? Sean Brady's never gone five rounds. Gilbert Burns has several times. Gilbert Burns, I, I love that where, you know, you hear other people talk about this, like, oh, Gilbert might be planning for life after fighting. He's doing the podcast and he's doing right. this and he's doing that. Well, I love that he's not, he's missing the podcast to work on this fight. So that shuts that down right there. I had, I had someone uh, the other day DM me on Instagram and say, dude, Gilbert's focused on the podcast. I have to bet against him. I'm like, you guys realize Sean Brady literally has a podcast. Like, he's on it every week. <laughs> right. I was like, because a fighter spends two hours a week right. talking on a right. microphone. It has nothing to do with anything. Some fighters could be playing video games instead right. of doing a podcast. Does that mean they're right. they're more focused? Like, right. it's, it's right. hilarious so, how people think. Exactly. And look, so both guys questionable cardio, but I give advantage big advantage to Gilbert. I mean, he's been there. He's done it against much higher competition too. Oh so, okay, Gilbert, Gilbert's three and three in his last six, but I mean, these are guys, Jack Del Melodonna, Bilal Muhammad, Jorge Masvidal, Hamzat Chemayev, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson, Neil Magny. These are not guys that Sean Brady uh, is fighting. And you looked at Bilal Muhammad doesn't put anyone away except for Sean Brady. Uh, the car, to me, it's the cardio wheels are going to fall off here. Sean Brady's not going to be able to out grapple Gilbert Burns. That's his only path to victory is out grappling Gilbert Burns. He's going to get tired trying to grapple Gilbert Burns. Uh, it's it, and you don't hear this a lot. You don't see this a lot. Gilbert could submit him. Gilbert could knock him out, or he could win this by decision. So it was really hard for me to pick a path. So I just took him on the money line here. To me, it's just a really bad matchup for Sean Brady. He's not going to have the advantage anywhere. I think Gilbert will have the advantage everywhere. These younger guys, you hope they'll have the cardio, but the same cardio questions we have about Gilbert, we have about Sean Brady, and these are all three-round fights for him. This is his first five-round fight. Advantage Gilbert across the board here. Give me Gilbert Burns on the money line, plus 150. Yeah, I got to tell you, this is why I love doing this show with you guys, because when I have my handicaps and my breakdowns, and then we go into the show— and when I hear you guys, and it reinforces why I like that under four and a half rounds with those cardio concerns here, certainly in the Sean Brady side, uh, I, I feel like, yes, like it, it just reaffirms uh, what I was thinking about that. So right there with you guys, Burns money line here for plus dollar fifty for Maddie and Kyle. I'm going to be on the Burns side too uh, once we get to tomorrow night, that's for sure. But my my play for the show that I feel is just a slightly bigger, uh, stronger play is going to be that under four and a half rounds here because I do think that Burns has got finishing potential. And that's where the KO prop comes in here. 18 to one round two uh, for Maddie on the Gilbert Burns side. So I think in some way, shape or form, you can get really good numbers here on Gilbert or the sub price, which is also big time plus money. So cannot wait to see what that main event looks like. And yes, Maddie, we're all pulling for Dorino uh, to get this done. We think not only is it uh, why we're pulling for him, but we think there's a very good likelihood that he does get this victory and a plus money feels like a really good price tag. 